Needs a trim. Can you use me? No, you destroy the entire thing. Hey, girl. What? You see it, too? We share the same pair of eyes. Of course I see it, too. The tea changed color. Maybe it's just the light? It changes again to pink. It changed. Probably a D. What tea is pink? This is freaky. Let's just go. Ugh, Baba Yap. She's reaching out for you, Arthur. I think she's just mistaking me for someone. Apple. Does she want an apple? Should I give her an apple? Yeah, fine. Give her a green apple. Here's a green apple. Give a green apple. Oh. Oh, thank you, boy. Huh? You can speak coherently? I'm not senile yet. I just don't like to involve myself with selfish people. You seem to be in need of the apple more than me. Have this instead. A golden apple! For being considerate. What? The apple's shining. It's enchanted, of course. The great sage rye lives near us. You're giving this to me? Why, yes, I like you. You're the type to behave unseemly, but your heart is in the right place. I... I'm not! Ho, ho, ho. Take it, my boy. Use it, sell it, do whatever you like with it. Send my regards to say dry soon. Huh? Uh, thanks. What did she mean by sending regards to say dry? Who cares about that? Look at this golden apple. Arthur, your tunnel vision is astounding. <laughs> <clears throat> This thing's been used constantly. I wonder how many people live here. From their food storage, I'm willing to bet it's three. There's a child, too. You can tell just from the food storage? So this reminds me of my past somewhat. It's kind of gross. Why is that gross? What is this lumpy thing? This is a potato. The superior food. The potatoes. Ah, oh, yes. The potatoes. Legends. More superior than apples? How dare you pit two great foods against each other like that? Huh? It's half finished. Maybe the old woman got too tired of chopping it halfway and is taking a break. Arthur, you're chopping it. There, now it's done. You're unex un unexpectedly. Unsuspectedly, unexpectedly. Nice sometimes. It's not out of good faith. I just dislike unfinished vi business. It's half done. I can't leave it alone. All right? Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> leave me. A bag of gold! There's a bag of grains. Golden grains! <laughs> <coughs> Oof. Wow, this is cute. A stuffed animal, even in a rundown place like this, they must cherish that child. Arthur, Arthur, lean down. Huh? Okay. Mmm, flowers do smell nice. You're using my nose. Why are you knocking the barrel? Hmm. I think they're pickling something in here, probably for the winter. It's scary how you can tell these things. I'm telling you, it's just experience. Probably a laundry basket. A bed. A bed. A bed. You're not going to check inside. I'm thinking this place belongs to an elderly farmer couple and a small child. And you feel bad stealing from them. No. It brings bad omens. If you steal from that specific spectrum. You have such strange belief in things. <clears throat> I'm talking from experience. <clears throat> what in the... Truly, this building does not look like it belongs in this town seaport aesthetics. It doesn't even match the stone tiles. I am offended. Should we go in to mock the design further? 
I swear if the inside is made of wood when the walls are clearly made of stone, I will lose it. A bucket! Let's smash it! There's a barrel, and no. Oh, what? 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 Okay, I'm over here now. <sighs> Why am I over here? Okay. Oh, that's in the way. Whew. Stone. I have complaints, but I'll keep quiet for now. <clears throat> Welcome to the house of the goddess, Lost Lamb. Hey, I'm at least a fox. How many... How may we be of assistance? Oh, and please keep your distance, cursed one. So you can tell. Hmm, it is quite potent. It is best you speak with the father. It's amazing how she hasn't opened her eyes once. <laughs> huh, you're right. Good eye. I'm borrowing yours. <laughs> ah, you seem like a fellow assassin. Here to repent. Hey, just because we happen to share the same taste in clothing, it doesn't mean we're in the same class. No? Pity. Are you an assassin, Arthur? <laughs> no, too edgy. Okay, but she's really pretty, though. She's really pretty. <clears throat> Welcome. How may I help you? <clears throat> Can you people really tell when a person is cursed? Ah, so you seek benediction. What? No, sorry, I don't need any divine protections. I'm fine with my curse. I'm just worried if people can tell I'm cursed. Are there any signs I should hide? The goddess has blessed us with supernatural sight. We are capable of seeing your aura. Or we are able to see your aura. Capable of seeing or able to? One or the other. <clears throat> oh, that's it? The normal people can't see I'm cursed, right? Your armpit. What? Excuse me? No more people can tell by your armpit. Maybe he's just messing with you and has a kink. <laughs> Are you just messing with me and have a weird kink? I am answering your question. If you do not wish to believe me, then please check your armpit yourself. No, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Does your curse have a mark on my armpit? have a mark on my armpit. I'm afraid I don't know. This is my first time cursing someone. Are you serious? About your cursed sword? I suggest you find one of the three sorcerers. I feel like I've heard of them before. Yes, I told you about them back in the caves. Shh, you're too loud. He knows I'm cursed already, so what's the problem? <laughs> Seek the great sage Rai. She is known to be well-versed with items. Out of the three, she is your best bet. For what? Guidance of your future. She is a seer. She will help you. Like a prophecy? No. I refuse. Goodbye. <clears throat> nope. Nope. Gotta go. What? Wasn't there someone I had to give stuff to, but I couldn't find them. I've been all over, but I couldn't find them. They're not here. I can't give them this stuff if they're not here. Okay. Oops.
I have a bad feeling in my gut. Maybe we should get ready first. I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Ooh, that red hair. Must be her. Let's just give her the thing and be done with it. Uh, hey there. Are you Morta? Who's talking? No one important. I got something for you. I've been asked to give you these samples from your archaeologist friend. Gave the samples to Morta. That's strange. I'm not really expecting these until he comes back to town. Is that his scabbard? Oh yeah, he gave it to me as a... Huh? Arthur, what's wrong? She's looking at you strangely. I have a bad feeling. Boy. <clears throat> Boy. You didn't happen to get into the ruins, did you? What's it to you? It hides itself within the dunes. Nobody could even see it. What makes you special? You just didn't look close enough. Don't blame me. You don't seem to understand. Those ruins choose who gets to see it. My question is, why you? You think I wanted to? Show me what's in the scabbard, boy. Sword, we have to go. Are you planning to run? Arthur, she's transforming. That is a bad, bad idea. Morta emerged. <clears throat> there is no escape. Golden apple. Now level nine. Huh, <laughs> not bad. Not bad at all. Arthur, are you okay? Yeah, I can't die, remember? Okay. I think that old man tricked us. He did not trick you. He sent you to me so I can test you. Test me? Yes, to make sure you're not some petty thief who stole the Pendragon sword. Arthur may be a thief, but he's done nothing wrong to me. Leave him alone. So the sword speaks. Don't even think about taking it, lady. I'm not. I know the legends. I just wanted to see what it looks like. Now stay still. I'll heal you. You've become completely... You've been completely healed by Morda. <sighs> I can breathe again. Then start talking from beginning to end. I can't help you if you lie to me, boy. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> yes, ma'am. Arthur told Morda about everything that happened. So you are a thief? In profession, yes, but I'm clearly the victim here. To be honest, I expected a more handsome adventurer, but he'll do. <laughs> As you can see, Swarty keeps bullying me. Oh, you called me by my name, Arthur. That makes me so happy. <laughs> Not the right time. Hmm, the runes accepted you in, and the sword is attached to you. So you must be the one. Huh? No, I don't want to be in any part of the Chosen One's shtick. I barely meet the criteria. Not all chosen ones must be just and noble. Sometimes it just has to be a quirk. Everyone has a role in life, and yours happen to align exactly with the sword. I evaded and turned away so many prophecies by now. Why can't I escape this one? Because those previous ones were not yours to settle. Were not yours. This one is. Don't I have a choice in this? Actually, you do. Let me ask you a serious question. Do you want to continue to be cursed? How much does this actually do for the outcome of this game? Fuck it. This curse has absolutely no cons. I can't die. I'm stronger. I can use magic. I have a talking sword for a friend. <gasps> You see me as a friend, Arthur? <laughs> I... No. 
Not in that way, stupid. I've never had a friend either. Thank you. Can we continue to be friends? <laughs> I'm telling you, it's not like that. This is adorable and all, but you do know that curses will eventually bite you back, right? Maybe not now, but you'll eventually be powerless, and you will regret not handling this sooner. So, what would happen to him when he is grown too old to move? Um, I suppose he'll keep aging without dying. Precisely. Even if you can't die, you can still feel the pain of age. Ugh, that's a morbid thought. It will be your future if you don't act upon it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it to be that way. Don't apologize. This hasn't even happened yet. The choice is yours, but please think carefully and thoroughly. Your every action has consequences. More so when your actions not only affect you, but the sword as well. Arthur! I'll leave you to think about it. Once you're ready to face your responsibilities, come talk to me. Arthur, perhaps we should discuss this. Let's sit on that box and talk. Are you okay after that fight? Yeah, I'm fine. More importantly, I have something to ask you. Why did you curse me? Ah, uh, this will sound very silly. Please don't get angry. I wanted to get out. I want to see the world. I've been stuck there for so long. All I want is to see what's out there. You were so desperate you opted to curse me? Yes, I am regretting it, though. Arthur... I'm so very sorry. <coughs> no, you were made like this. It's not like you had a choice. No point in crying about it now. Let's think about what we should do now, okay? I... I can't believe you had no friends. Your default setting is to constantly take a jab at me, huh? Arthur, do you know much about curses? I know it's really difficult to dispel one. Even the caster couldn't do it right. Correct. Oh, Arthur, what will we do? First, I need to ask you what you want to do. Me? Obviously, I don't want you to be in pain because you can't die. It's not like I don't... It's not like I'll die the next minute. Relax. Listen, if we stop your curse, then you can't see through my eyes anymore. Are you fine with being blind again? Well, even if I'm blind, I can still talk to you like this. You just said you wanted to get out because you want to see the world. How can you see if you're blind? Arthur, I'm just a sword, an object. You're a living, breathing human. You feel pain and discomfort and your life can end at any time. You're fragile. <laughs> Don't call me fragile. What I want to do is take back this curse from plaguing you any further. Sheesh. You're acting as if I could die any second. Calm down. Well, what Morta said was mostly right. I don't think there'll be problems if we procrastinate. I mean, we just started. You're just beginning to see the world like you wanted. So I don't see any problems if we just carry on adventuring for a while. That may be true, but we don't know how long it might take us to find a way to dispel the curse. It might take a lifetime. It's better if we assure ourselves that there's a way first. Hmm, that's a good point. We'll see if it's possible first, and then we decide what to do after. Look! At it as an adventure in itself. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> Alright then, I'm up for that. Now, what is our next course of action? Everyone's been asking us to consult Sage Rye, so I guess we'll just ask her. That reminds me, what do you know of her? Not much. By what we've heard in town, she seems to be a sage who enchants items. Which is perfect, because you're an item yourself. Alright then, it's decided. Let's go meet this great sage, Sorty. Yeah, let's uncurse you. <laughs> oh. 
خوب بوده Can I, can I not talk to you? Have you come to a decision? Yeah, we want to find a way to lift the curse. Excellent. I admire your tenacity. Now then, a word of advice. One of the steps to erase a curse is to understand where it originates. So I have to learn about sorty? About me? Oh, goodness. Then that will be a problem. I don't quite remember anything. Why is there an about there? Are you kidding me? You have amnesia, but you're a sword. Hey, you try sitting in a cave and not being able to see or hear anything for years. And not be able to. Fortunately for both of you, I was alive at the time the ruins were built. Well, that's right, you're an elf. At first, it housed a lot of humans. The Pendragons. Wealthy, influential family. They were protecting something. Decades passed and they couldn't maintain their bloodline. Thus, they tamed a dragon. Dragons have a long lifespan. Not as long as elves, but long enough to protect the ruins. But when I went down there, all I found were bones. When I went down there. That is because it has been a century. A century? A century. Uh-oh. I myself did not know what the Pendragons were protecting, but now that I see you, sword, I understand. They held great love for you. Love for me? Goodness, they must be materialistic humans to prioritize just a single sword, huh? Unless this is like Undertale, and you're secretly their child's soul in a sword. I mean, I don't blame them. You are powerful if you got into the wrong hands. That's ironic, coming from you. <laughs> hey, I was actually right. My hands are wrong, yes. Yet, you turned out to be quite protective of me, shockingly. <laughs> don't get full of yourself. Boy. Huh? You must find out more of the pen dragons, especially of the sword. Only then can you lift the curse. Got it. Lady Morda, do you happen to know how we can meet Sage Rye? Much like the ruins, her abode is shrouded with magical mist that no eyes can find. Oh, great. However, I can teleport you to her general area. It is up to you to find her exact location. She despises stupid people. She despises them, Zzz, with an S at the end, so she might test you like I did. Uh, it's okay, Arthur, as stupid as you are, I'll help. Gee, thanks for the vote of confidence. Now step back, please, but I want to go back and talk to the guy at the statue. There we go. You just have to go through the portal. Don't worry, I'll stay here to keep it open. Good luck. Arthur. Okay, I want to talk to this guy first. Yo, dude, what up? What can you tell me? Nothing. Okay, I guess he won't tell me anything. Fine, I guess I don't care about statues right now. Hey, about the three sorcerers. Oh, of course. I can tell you what I know about them. There are three powerful sorcerers. The Great Sage, the Whimsical Wizard, and the Wandering Woman. And I will deal with that later. Mmm. I'm just gonna... do that. I'll have to finish up later. <laughs>